Hello everyone. Scrap and Lizzie here from the Scrap and Lizzie Unicorn Group. Um, and today I'm working on the challenge we were given on our group by the challenge team. And we have a weekly challenge and this week we are challenged to do something with tickets. Altering tickets. So this is what I did with mine. Now let me show you. This is one of my finished ones. And I'm making, I made a page edge. So this will go on the edge of a page of a journal. I mean, you can cut it to fit. This is just a little small journal. I could put it right on the edge of that page and it would be very pretty. And, um, and I really kind of like it. And so this is my take. I'm looking forward to seeing other people's takes on the same, on the same challenge. And so I just been moving right along. I got three of these done and I think that they're just beautiful. I think they're just beautiful. So I, I enjoy these challenges because we do um, kind of think out of the box and come up with um, new, new things to learn. Or sometimes they're old things to learn, things that we've known from before and just kind of let them get away from us. And so it's always good to be challenged. The first thing I did, because my tickets do not have the little, I noticed that some people get the tickets that have got the little ticket mark in them. These ones don't. So what I have, you know, they're like a little inset cut out. So I took my tickets and then I fold. I'm, I've got five tickets there. So I just folded them there and then I take my scissors and just cut the corners and they don't really have to be rounded they so i just nipped off them corners and then now they do have that ticket shape you know like the fun oh my phone is just dinging 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 let me put it over here in trash can um okay so i'll show you what i did to mine i because i was using these little pink dots on my flowers I wanted to also um, distress it with the pink. So I use the pink to distress the tickets. Um, I noticed how some like to just cover up the whole ticket. And, um, and, and those are very pretty too when the whole ticket is covered up. And so then, then you end up with just the ticket shape. Now that's fun too. But I kind of like... I like the ticket for myself. I like seeing the actual ticket. These tickets, I don't think were printed really good because some of them's got like the red trim around it and these two don't. So I think they had a, they was running out of ink when they was building them. So anyway, I have those now um, just inked. Okay, so once I inked them, then I took my double-sided tape um, and, um, and threw it somewhere where it's totally lost. Just a minute, maybe, I, oh, I put it back in the drawer where it belongs. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Now, and so I just took my double-sided tape, and you could just run a string of glue, too, if you so choose. But I just run a... Um, a little bit of the double-sided tape. I don't want to cover up the whole ticket word. I'm going to let that ticket word, um, I'm going to let that ticket word show on these. But, but you can do whatever floats your boat. You know, whatever floats your boat. Okay, I think on this one I want to take a page or two. Let me see. Look at this old book. I think rats were eating it or something was eating it. <laughs> That's funny, isn't it? But I'm going to just take a page out of this book 
and I'm going to use just a little bit of that altered paper. Let's see how I'll do this. I'm just going to, um, gosh, I love how old paper just rips. This light, because this book was already like damaged by the rats or whatever they were, I'm, um, I don't mind messing it up some more. I'm just helping the rats. And so then I'm just going to get five little pieces here because I have five tickets. Now I'm going to, okay, so now I'm going to want to just ink those tickets a little bit as well. I'm still using that pink, pink, um, that pink distress oxide actually is fired brick. I just read that fired brick and I'm putting this on here. I looked at a couple of videos to see you know how do people actually do these things and so you know looking at a couple of videos I found a few that do a little bit different here and there. Now and so I thought okay so what I'm learning here is anything goes. So I'm just going to put these, because this is going to stay, it, I'm going to keep the length of it for a, a edge on a page. I'm just going to, oh, maybe I should put all the writing. Well, now that I'm going to come back off. That's okay if the writing's upside, upside downwards. Like that. Okay, that one was going to be upside down. Okay, so kind of like that. And just put those little bits and pieces on there. And then I have some, I have some, you know, when you have everything right there in front of you, and then I don't know what it is, if it's burglars or, I just had some, I just had some cheesecloth. I just had some cheesecloth, and but um, what did I do? It well, here's a little bit of it right here. My goodness, my goodness gracious! Well, I'm just going to use this little piece I have right here, this little tiny chunk. Did I use it all on these three? And then that's just the end. Oh, I always have to look right down on the floor underneath my feet. Because a lot of times things just fall like these here tickets did. Okay, well, no, I don't see it there either. So I'll just use this little piece I have. And I'm just going to put that into just, I'm going to just cut that into four pieces. That's, I guess I didn't need more than that anyway. And I'm just going to put, well, I needed five pieces to... I'll cut this one in half so then I have five, four, one, two, oh, and here. Okay, see now that I got those on there, I'll find it. Still don't see it. That didn't work. All right, then this is just so simple. Then I have this, um, <laughs> now I found my ball of green stuff and there's my there it is. That's what I needed. But now I have this this um, fiber, which is kind of a forest green. Kind of a forest green. It's like that green that you'd find in the forest. And so I am going to take this because now this actually looks like it come right out of the forest. So there's still some of that double-sided tape there showing. So I'm going to just put that right on that. And there's enough there to hold those that right on that strip of tickets. And then I have these little white flowers. Okay, I have these little white flowers. And where I got them was if you go, you know, to the department store, to Walmart and stuff, it's cheaper to buy a stem of flowers like this and just take them apart than it is to go and buy the actual 
uh, little prima flowers or whatever. And then these come apart and they're just so pretty. There's some leaves. Now this thing, I'll throw that away. And so then look, I got all those flowers. And so I am going to, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to use my mini stapler, my tiny attacher stapler. This is one of my favorite tools. I use this a lot. I'm pretty close up here so you can't so you can see what I'm actually doing here. But what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to just give like one flower on each ticket, but I'm going to just um, attach that with my tiny attacher. All right there, see? And so each ticket will get a flower as I go down that stem. And so, and they're just all stapled on there. And I don't have them exactly centered or anything. I just cut, got them here and there and they can be put on, you know, they don't have to be in a straight line or anything. But this, because this is going to be a page embellishment on the edge of a page in your journal. And you can make it, put it in your junk journal. You can put it in a nature journal, any kind of a, a little journal. Put it on your page or any kind of a mixed media project that you're doing. Now these here, I have had these for some time, these different little, gosh, what did they call these? Um, candy? They called them candy. Candy, Craftwork Cards Candy, Made in the UK. I've had them for quite some time, and I haven't used them all up, but now you might have these, or you might have little buttons, or you may have um, even the little pop dots you get out when you use a hole punch. And then you can... I, I don't know if you can still get these. I'm assuming you can. But then you can also get the candy um, little uh, pop dart. The pop, um, the dimensionals, little bitty squares. But then other places make the little bitty squares too. So because I have chubby fingers, I um, use my tweezer. And I'm going to get one of those pops, one of those dimensionals and put it in the center of each flower. Now see, and like I say, you can use anything. There's so many things that you can use for just little dots. These here, I actually bought these quite some time ago when I was at a, um, I, w I went to, with some friends, we went to Orlando and they had a, um, they had a, whatever they call all these, um, an expo, that's what it was. And so I went with them, with my friends, and oh my gosh, the stuff that they had there was amazing. And so that's when I bought these. And so that's been good grief, four or five years ago we did that. And so then I said, boy, I'm going to go every year. But well, no, I didn't go every year. I only went that one time. And so, but, but yeah, I bought like all the colors that they had, I think. See, now I'm pulling the top, the protective paper off of the top then. And then I will go with, I'll pick the little round buttons that they call candies. And I'm going to pick different colors because they come in all kinds of colors. So and put them right in the center of each of those flowers. And that gives them that real pretty color. I mean, it just, I really like this one. The other ones I kind of just did in all pink. But now this one here, I got five different colors. And look how pretty that is. And that's all that is, is taking those, taking those um, tickets I inked around the tickets. I um, 
I put a little cheesecloth, which you can't really see the cheesecloth. It's kind of hidden in there. But um, if I had a little bit more, it would have been a little more fluffy. If I had, if it wasn't hiding, see, I did have a lot more, but I, it was hiding. And um, and so there you go. And that, and once I put them staples on there, then that holds the um, makes sure that that fibers, the fibers that I used, stay stay put where I want them and so so there I went and I have see those ones I did in mostly pinks and then here those were pinks and then here there's pinks so look I got all them made and those are beautiful edges on a journal let's see that well I'll probably put one Right on, I've got my um, unicorn flower pot journal, junk journal going here. See how he's got his little unicorn horn? Let me get you pulled back now just a little bit. No, that gets forward. And we go like this. There we go. Now, that's a little bit better. Not a whole lot better. i got to lift my camera up. Okay, now, now you see my stuff around me. Um, but see, this is my flower pot journal. I've been working on it, and it's fun because I can take the, the flowers out of my flower pot. See, that's my unicorn flower pot for our challenge this month, too, for June, July challenge is our flower pot, uh, unicorn flower pot. And look, at I did mine on the front of my journal. And so, and then my flowers are just on tags. And I got the flowers in there, and they just go right there into my flower pot because I got a pocket right here. And so I think that's pretty awesome. So now I will find a page that maybe I'll want to put this etching on. And let's see. I wonder if this is the page. Oh, and look at that. Five tickets fits exactly on the eight and a half inch edge. If that just doesn't flop your dripper. I um, didn't know that, that that was five tickets is eight and a half inches. And that's what this is at eight and a half. My pages are eight and a half by five and a half. Eight and a half by five and a half. So see, there we go. And I can put this whole strip right down the edge of that page and I think it's pretty I think I'm gonna put all my strips in this yearbook you see so now I'm gonna go a few pages before I um, find another oh well, this one on this pink page pink page is gonna get a strip there's gonna be a lot of flowers in this here in this here book as long as my glue comes out put that in there I love having these challenges because you know I on Mondays they post the the group posts it's like a subgroup I guess I don't know what it is but um, the group posts a new challenge every week and it's fun because you know you learn new things you, you are challenged to learn new things every week, something new. And it's, and it's usually, so far, it's always been something that you can use in your journals. I'm going to be working in my paper doll journal in the next day or two with a video because um, we made dresses. One of the challenges last week was dresses. And, oh, my gosh, are they awesome. And, um... So, I love these, and see, now what do I have? One more. I have one more, so I'm going to flip through and find another page that maybe I want to put this on. Let's see. Oh, I'm going to put it right there on this page. So I have four, I'll have four pages that are going to how's my my challenge 
and I think these are very pretty because I did and now I'm going to want to do more and and see when you see something like this you don't make yours exactly the same you do not have to make it exactly the same these challenges are meant to give you inspiration say hmm I have tickets I can do this oh but if you don't have tickets now look see there that's already thickened up my book some. I just want it to get all mouthy. I want it to get all alligator mouthy. And I'll put my flowers back in the flower pot where they belong because I'm finished working for now. And my little unicorn flower pot will, pot will guard them. Now I want to show you real quickly. If you do not have tickets, you can take a strip of paper just a strip of paper and then when you do it that way you can do any size any size you want you'll see I had cut some strips of paper too but of course those are have also grown legs and walked slam away and um, but anyway let me tell you what you do with that you just take your strip of paper you find first where you lost it. Okay. We, we, we lost it. So we're not going to. If that just doesn't flop your drip or cue. But did I fold them all into? Maybe I folded them all into strips. Because see, I got all these here. Okay, but anyway. Now this is 12 inches of paper right here. And all I did was fold it in half. Then fold it in half again fold it in half again and so then see you got it folded that way then take your scissors and just cut a little round corner just a little round corner on each corner you cut them and then this is what you have you have tickets and you can start now these ones are a little bigger than these tickets but um you have now, when you make them a little bigger like this, you've got more room to start enhancing them with beautifulness. And, um, and when you have something even this big, you might fix all of them. Actually, I have one that I, well, I didn't put it in my journal yet, but it's going on my journal, that was sent to me by Tracy who learned how to make these and she sent me a strip of four tickets and I'm going to put them in that same journal that in this journal that I was working on but see after after I cut these like this then I just took a needle and oh I put a little piece of foam underneath and I took a needle and poke 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 poke, poke, poke like a push pin and um then that put that tear strip there. So if I wanted to tear them into separate tickets, I could do it right then. But that's another idea. So you can make these. These are 2 inches by the 12 inch. And so each one of these tickets are 2 inches by 3, 6, 9, 12, 3, 3 inches by 2 inches is what each ticket size is. But that makes pretty tickets. And once you start decorating those up, it's amazing what you can come up with. And so, let's see. what You know what I'm going to do tonight? Sometimes, instead of reading, I just find a little song. And I just, um, uh, my book, this book, has been around in my family since May 24th, 1972, and as you can see, it shows. So, but it's got some, and, and this is artwork by my, this was my 27-year-old granddaughter, but she wasn't 27 when she did this. She did this when she was little, wrote in a book. I says, Katie, don't be writing Grandma's book. Now, now she's 27. Okay. Let me see if I can re sing this song for you. I'll just sing one verse. Okay. Living for Jesus, a life that is true. 
striving to please him in all that I do, yielding allegiance, glad-hearted and free. This is the pathway of blessing for me. O oh, Jesus, Lord and Savior, I give myself to Thee. For Thou in Thy atonement did give myself for me. I own no other master. My heart shall be thy throne. My life I give henceforth to live, O Christ, for thee alone. And that's a beautiful song. That's beautiful. This is a beautiful book. This is the only handwriting that I have of my m grandmother. Um, you know, a lot of times we say that, oh, we don't like our handwriting, so we don't want to do anything in our own handwriting. We want to type it or something. This was this book was given to my father on his birthday, May 24th, 1972. And, she, and my grandmother wrote, Greetings to Alan and Martha, that was my mom and dad, with all your children from 80. 80 is a Finnish word for um, mother. 80. And, and she shook. She, when she wrote, she had to hold her hand. She had to hold this hand so she could write and try and get as still and beautiful as she could. And here you can see her wiggles in her writing. This is the only bit of writing I have of my grandmother's. And I cherish this right here. I cherish this book, even though it looks like it's been run over by a steam engine. I just cherish the book and every song in it, all the artwork that the kids have put in it. I love it. And so with that, I'm going to let you all go. Thank you so much for watching. God bless each and every one of you. May he keep you safe every step you take, every move you make, and I will see you on the next video. God bless.